What's up guys? Grantly16 here once again, once again, once again, once again, play, playing. What's up guys? Grantly16 here once again, playing some Clash Royale. Today, we're going over the top 10 best decks uh, to my knowledge that are in existence right now or at least my opinion of what they are uh, They're in no particular order, so they're not necessarily worst the best or best the worst, but uh, they're in like a general uh, Setup I guess you could say and I'm just gonna be going over them and kind of showing you what I think uh, is the best anyway number 10 this is the basic giant graveyard deck. Uh, I did include the Goblin Gang and Mega Minion. Uh, is, to go along with the Goblin Gang, I actually included the Skeleton Army as well. That way it's kind of like a log or zap bait. Uh, so you'll have two uh, big guy killers if one of them is zapped or logged. You still have the other one to fall back on. But generally... You want to set up the giant in the back and let him build up. And yeah, you can put the bowler behind him if you want. Uh, and double elixir that in, comes in handy. But uh, in just the, the single elixir mode before double elixir, uh, you may have a hard time getting the bowler, giant, poison, and graveyard off. So normally it's just the uh, giant, poison, graveyard or the bowler, giant, graveyard. And uh, we usually keep it uh, kind of kind of in that motion. Anyway, number nine. This is the classic Zap Bait deck. We have the Skeleton Army, the Goblin Gang, uh, and the uh, Princess. So a lot of stuff that's able to be uh, logged or zapped, and uh, that way you can get that Goblin Barrel Miner in there and do absolute work with it uh if done properly it can work really well uh, a lot of the time people with log uh, if they do catch on to it and they save it for that goblin barrel every time you're going to need to switch up your goblin barrel placement so if you throw it uh, around on top of the tower you may want to throw it all the way in the back one time or you may want to throw it uh, all the way and to the left or right of the tower, you know, just try to get that log to, to miss it. Even if they don't do as much damage as they would if, you, if they landed on the tower, they'll still get in there. Uh, so the minor goblin barrel is really effective, but it can be stopped fairly easily. And so that's pretty much why it's uh, number nine in the countdown. It's not the greatest, but we can actually uh, switch some things out on it. Uh, it can have the freeze in it, so you can do minor goblin barrel freeze. Generally, you want to throw out the uh, goblin barrel first because it takes so long to get there, then the miner, then you wait, uh, and then freeze. So moving on to number eight. This deck is the giant balloon deck. It's a classic deck. Uh, you can get it at a very low level. Uh, I did include Executioner on this, but Wizard works just as good, almost. Um, but the Executioner just has a little bit more life. But this deck does do good. Uh, in the lower levels and in the higher levels, it has been proven to win, even in the uh, Legendary Arena. You basically just want to, of course, get that Giant up, get that Balloon behind the Giant, and move on through there. Uh, with those two pushing uh, is two two building units so you have to be careful on defense because that is 10 elixir you're throwing out so that's why I have the uh, knight and a couple other things that you can throw along with it that don't cost that much elixir but can be a, a really good defense for a lot of things uh, generally you want to kind of try to get that balloon right on top of the giant that way it makes it harder uh, for them to put something behind the giant and hit the balloon. Uh, the balloon, uh, they move about the same speed, so the balloon will kind of stay inside it. Uh, it's really effective, especially if you get the executioner behind all of it. 
uh, and the, you see I got the poison right there on it as well so that's pretty much the ultimate push and they're not gonna have a whole lot of units to stop that anyway moving on to number seven this is the three musketeer heal deck it, you will normally require an elixir collector if you want to cycle as fast as most decks but uh, the three musketeers do absolute work especially if you're if you're on their side you can put it over there and it will rape you put the heal on it they'll last an extremely long time moving on to number six that was kind of a short clip this is uh the deck that got me two four thousand trophies i was at 3500 pushed all the way to four thousand with this deck right here it is the elite barb hog deck uh your two offensive pushes of course are going to be elite barbs and the hog uh you can do either or or you can do both at the same time or you can do one in each lane whatever you want to do uh the between the executioner and the electro wizard uh they're two of the best defenders in the game in my opinion uh, the Executioner, of course, can hit a ton of units if they have a big buildup coming down the lane. And the Electro Wizard just stops them in their tracks, even the bigger units. And then you can use the Ice Golem to kind of distract, like I just did right there. And it, uh, it completely just shuts down stuff, man. And I've also got the Tombstone in there, just in case you got a few Royal Giant guys, or if you're facing like a Hog uh, deck that gets that one shot in every time that tombstone's going to help to uh prevent that uh with the tombstone the hog rider does usually get at least one shot in uh depending on how it's placed but generally you want to try to place it in the middle so that both towers will hit it sometimes it's hard to do that uh the hog rider is finicky in this game uh because it will actually ignore your uh whatever you put out your buildings that you put out sometimes in the game i don't know if it's a glitch or what it is but anyway it does have a heavy spell as you can see uh not a rocket or lightning or anything but a fireball so it's like a mid-level spell uh but i i really think that it's uh it's it comes in handy quite a bit uh the elite barbs uh have been nerfed a lot but they're still so so powerful and then you can use that ice golem to draw a lot of units all the way around the map just like that and you've instantly got more uh, defense uh, it's just it's an all-around good deck um, if you guys go back and watch it you can see where I did get to 4,000 trophies with this deck and uh, of course back then the uh, Executioner was way better. They have nerfed the crap out of it. If you go back and watch that video, watch how good the Executioner actually is. It's absolutely insane. The distance and the uh, width of the blade hitting was just crazy. It was the best part of the game, hands down. But uh, as you can see, uh, the Elite Barb split up right there, took that Royal Giant out, and took the tower out. So here we go, number five, getting on down there. This is an Expo deck. There's several variations of this deck. I just chose this specific variation because uh, it seems to work pretty well for me. It has an extremely heavy spell if for some reason you can't seem to get that Expo locked onto the tower. You can rocket them down if you want. Uh, but it works extremely well uh, for just hitting them dudes across the map. Uh, the Expo is one of the, the most difficult decks in the game to use just because it's, uh, you know, people just don't think it's that good. But really, it can be good if used properly. It uh, People don't see it a lot, so they don't, a lot of people don't know how to defend it that well. You know, they uh, they kind of panic when you throw it out, and they, they start just putting down units. And if you can defend that expo, if you're prepared to defend that expo before you throw it out, you're going to get some damage on there, because you can throw out as much as they can throw out, and the expo is going to help you defend as well. 
so uh, until it locks onto that tower, of course. So that's going to be an extremely good deck. This is another variation of that deck. This uh, particular deck right here actually got 50 Grand Challenge wins. Uh, not by me, but by someone I know. And uh, 50 Grand Challenge wins straight. No kidding. Uh, so 12 wins 50 times with this particular deck. It is OP, guys. You have to know how to cycle. You have to know what to defend. Uh, I mean, that's anything with Clash Royale, knowing how to defend what. But with this deck in particular, you really have to know what you're going to use on what. Anyways, number four, another graveyard deck. This time, I uh, changed it up a bit. Got the Goblin Gang, got the three minions in there. And we got the Freeze instead of the Poison like I did in the other giant graveyard deck. So uh, this is extremely effective. Uh, you do have to watch out for using so much Elixir because in this you will invest so much Elixir, it's hard to uh, defend after you attack. But if you do it just right, you can smoke them just like that there. They, they had a pretty hefty defense for me and uh, I was able to freeze everything. And that freeze just comes so unexpectedly. If you do it right the first time, they just, they have absolutely no idea. And it comes as such a shock to them. It could be an instant game changer uh, for you. You can instantly win uh, just off getting that first tower. Anyway, moving on to number three, the top three decks. This is a Golem deck. You will need an Elixir Collector in this deck, uh, or at least I like to have one because it helps me out a little bit. But we'll look, we only got three Elixir cards to go with this Golem. So you got an extreme Golem cycle, uh, basically. You can cycle the cards so quickly uh, that you can just go through them like it ain't nothing you see. It also has the bait in there, so they, they log that Skarmy right out of the way. Instant Goblin Gang. It's just like uh, another Skarmy. You can put those four skeletons behind the Golem, uh, and that's the only backup you really need uh, if you have to defend on the other side or something like that. The four skeletons plus the Golem will take out a tower. Uh, if they go undefended so it, it's so effective and uh, I got arrows in there I didn't have a really heavy spell but uh, it, it, it works pretty good uh, and you got plenty of air air defense in it but like I said these uh, cycle decks you can just cycle so fast most people you face aren't going to be able to cycle as fast as you can even if you don't put down a golem you can just cycle so fast that they won't be able to keep up with it eventually. Number two, coming in, the number one deck in the meta as of right now is the Lava Loon. It is the most used deck in this game right now. It is in the meta, especially the Lava Loon Lightning, the triple, triple lava combo. Uh, if you can get that Lava Hound down, then that balloon and have that lightning on standby so when they throw out two units to defend you take those out too it's almost instant tower every single time then i've got uh, a bunch of two three elixir units with it so that you can actually cycle just like with the golem you can cycle extremely fast and they won't be able to keep up with it but like I said, just with that giant, I mean that uh, Lava Hound Balloon combo is extremely effective already. Then you throw the Lightning out to kill anything that they throw out on top of everything. Oh my gosh, guys. It takes everything out. It is so effective. Moving on, number one, my favorite deck, the Hog Royal Giant deck. It, I think it's... Honestly, it's one of the best decks in Clash Royale. It does have its flaws. I mean, it's not the best against aerial uh, aerial uh, decks, but it's one of the best offensive decks in the game, I would say. The most hated card, which is the Royal Giant, 
uh, and the elite barbs in the same deck. Not only that, but you also have a hog. So you can actually attack with Royal Giant, Hog, or Elite Barbs. You've got three offenses pushing to their tower at all times. You, you throw the Royal Giant out, uh, they defend it. You throw Elite Barbs out, they defend it. You keep on. All right, guys, that's it for the top 10 video. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.